and all of that. And I wish that we could see more of that here in Cali, but specifically where I live in Cali, uh, that's not really that uh, prevalent in the city, but that's okay. Uh, maybe one day uh, when I retire or s someday I'll be taken somewhere where the colorful leaves uh, will be a thing. Uh, but yeah, um, fall is my favorite. And so that means that also Halloween uh, is my second favorite holiday. Also another fall holiday. I love, love, love getting creative. Sometimes I think of costumes like almost right after Halloween ends. I'm already thinking about the next costume for next year. Uh, right now, as of now, I haven't decided, haven't figured out what I want to be for Halloween next year. But I do know that I want to uh, dress up next year. Just don't know what it's going to be yet. This year, I was dressed up as Luisa from Encanto. Uh, for those ha that have seen the Disney movie Encanto, uh, when I first saw that movie, I was mesmerized. Uh, Lynn Miranda Manuel uh, is... Did I say that name right? Or is it Lynn Manuel Miranda? Anyways, whatever. Encanto is awesome. The music is just so great. The story is great. Luisa is totally uh, how I feel as far as um, character goes. Like sometimes I feel like I have real high expectations uh, for myself in taking care of things. And so I have like the weight of the world on me. Um, and so that character really like resonated with me when I saw it. Um, for the first time and I watched that movie like at least six times now maybe more um, and I don't even watch that many movies and TV anymore because it's just no time uh, commuting to and from the office uh, by the time I get home and you know we play some basketball we lift some weights uh, eat dinner it's like who has time uh, and then on the weekends you know usually it's you know we're hanging with the kiddos and if we're hanging with the kiddos it's what they want to watch so it's not like auntie gets to choose every single time what we watch so it's not like um i'll be watching you know Encanto like 24 7 but there was a moment where you know when i went on vacation with family and stuff like that uh early on in the year we did actually get to watch Encanto um with my uh brother's kids and my sister's kids so that was nice. Anyways, where was I going with that? I have no idea. Um, Halloween. Halloween's my second favorite holiday. And I dressed up as Luisa this year. And uh, I bought myself a cute, cute, cute t-shirt from Tea Turtle um, with Luisa on it. Uh, and I can't wait till it arrives. And I will post a picture on IG and Facebook uh, when the t-shirt arrives and I get to put it on and have it be my little, uh, m you know, badge of honor <laughs> as being Louisa this year for Halloween. But yeah, anywho, so Christmas falls as the third favorite holiday. So, uh, yeah, Christmas, I just like the lights. I like being able to spend some time with family hate 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 uh gift giving although um it is pretty fun to see the kiddos open their gifts so that's actually been nice uh new new for me to have kids to see them um enjoy the gifts that they've been given uh last year was really fun because um you know the kids haven't been the nicest they've been naughty sometimes and it's been quite an adjustment and you know we had buddy the elf elf on the shelf uh watching over them last christmas and you know they were they were good at times but then they were also naughty at times so we played a trick <laughs> on the kids um uh, on christmas uh i took a whole bunch of oreos um blended it up with honey uh and 
formed these like huge lumps of coal. Um, and then we stuck it into the kids' stockings. And so as we were, you know, opening gifts and stuff like that, uh, Panda Bear announced that, you know, oh, buddy the elf, the elf told us that you guys haven't been, you know, the most, you know, nice during this season. You had been a bit naughty. And so uh, there's a gift that Santa wants you to have. And he busted out the lumps of coal that we made. <laughs> and uh, let me tell you, the uh, one of the girls was like, ew. And uncle's like, well, Santa says you have to take a bite out of this before uh, you get your act your last gift. And so, you know, she bit into it and she's like, it tastes like rock. And then the littlest one bit into it and was like, yum. And she, we almost had to pry that coal out of her hands because she was just like, this is my present. I'm eating it. <laughs> so she really is like, she's something. Um, but yeah, let's fast forward to 2022 and, you know, now all the children seem to love Oreos. Uh, so we can't do the lump of coal this year because they will just enjoy it too much. And, you know, they might expect it because we've already done it. So I don't quite know yet what the little prank joke we might do for Christmas this year, but Time is ticking. Time's running out. Gotta come up with something uh, in the next two weeks. So uh, if any of my friends or family or even the strangers um, that have stumbled upon this video have any ideas of what I can do, what we can do, uh, comment below and let me know. Um, I know we want to do something, but we definitely don't have... a uh, the elf on the shelf this year because we already did that last year and uh one of the things <laughs> i really hope the kids don't ever watch this video but um and if they do oh well um one of the things when the kids arrived they had a hard time with uh putting away their toys and taking care of their toys in general but i had told them you know if you don't take care of your toys if you don't put them away the house elves are going to, the house gnomes are going to um, steal your stuff and you'll never see it again. And, you know, kids, they're like, yeah, right, whatever. Um, but yeah, certainly so. We, uh, those house gnomes, I'm telling you, uh, are very good at stealing toys, stealing socks, stealing anything that is left lying around, not picked up um they disappear <laughs> sometimes never to be seen again so so yeah uh, i don't know if other uh parents do stuff like that with their kids to kind of entice them to keep a tidy place but if you'd like if you don't do that now and you need something like that please go ahead and steal that idea because it it works uh the house is now much more uh, well managed and picked up less toys are disappearing less toys are being broken and we like that we like structure uh, in the household so house gnomes I think I might actually <laughs> do some house gnome related thing this year maybe I don't know yet like I said I haven't really figured out what that's going to be so if you have any great ideas, please let me know. <sighs> so the house is now settling a little bit more now. I had thought that when I woke up from my nap that it was the opportune time to uh, come do my nails. But I don't know if you heard all the background noise. Uh, there was a lot of uh, opening and closing of the door here. Uh, while I was recording, so uh, it seems to be settled now a little bit, but who knows? Um, and now my Buddha is just hanging out uh, in his doggy bed underneath my 
office table. So now he's a little bit settled too, so that's great because he was scratching earlier. Don't know if you guys heard all of that. But yeah, anywho. Um, have any of you guys written poetry? I remember when I was a teenager, I used to want to be a songwriter. <laughs> Before Taylor Swift was a thing, I wanted to be just like that. And I remember there was one time where I had written a song and I had recorded it on a cassette tape. Uh, that, that ages me uh, for those that don't even know what a cassette tape is. Um, but I recorded it on a cassette tape. And I remember years later stumbling across the cassette tape. Um... And just being like, oh my god, I don't even remember writing and recording this. But, you know, those are fun discoveries where you're finding things from your past that you're like, oh my gosh, this was me. <laughs> there was a, a moment where my panda bear was cleaning out our garage and he stumbled across a framed uh, photo of Ryan Gosling and... He brought it in and he was like, hey, uh, is this your sister Michelle's? And I was like, uh, nope, that is totally mine. <laughs> yes, uh, I am a Ryan Gosling fan or I was a Ryan Gosling fan. Uh, I used to be a huge fan, uh, starting with him being on the Mickey Mouse Club alongside with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, uh, yeah, I was a huge fan of his, um, him and his indie movies. I owned like every single movie that he was in on DVD up to a certain point. Uh, but then like the notebook came out and I thought I would love it, but I ended up not liking the notebook very much. Not a popular opinion, obviously. A lot of people love the notebook, but it must have been something that was going on in my life at that time where the notebook just didn't resonate with me. I I had read Nicholas Sparks' book, The Notebook, and I found that to be way, way better than the movie. So I think that might have been the reason why uh, the movie didn't resonate with me as much, even though my celebrity crush, Ryan Gosling, was in it. It just wasn't, it wasn't that good, in my opinion. I'm sure if I watch it again now that I'm in a healthy relationship, a long-term relationship, it might hit differently. But I just remember just not liking the notebook at all. Anyways, um, and then Ryan Gosling hasn't been in too much that I'm aware of. Um, and some of the movies that he's chosen to be in are just not my type of movies to watch. When I used to be a super fan, I would watch every single movie, regardless of what the the plot was about and, you know, what type of genre the movie was. But now that uh, I am more uh, grown up and less of a super fan, uh, I don't really have that urge to do that. Uh, so, so, yeah. But um, Ryan Gosling is going to be coming out in a movie soon in the f near future where he plays Ken like Barbie and Ken Ken and so I'm kind of excited to watch that I don't know if I'm gonna pay to watch it in theaters but I certainly will watch it when it comes to streaming all right I'm not gonna do my thumbs yet because I leave my thumbs for last because you might have seen me use them a little bit sometimes as tools to kind of get rid of the extra around uh, my nails. So I'm not gonna do the thumbs yet. I'm gonna save that for last. So I'm gonna leave those aside. And since I'm done with this, I'm going to heat seal that so that those can keep, hopefully for another time. All right. Okay, let's work on the plaid. So the plaid, I'm not going to put all the way down because I do want some of uh, the chocolate uh, to hit there. And it's going to end up getting way too thick if uh, 
I put all that down. So this is going to be the tricky part is to get the spacing of this as correct as I can uh, so that uh, I don't have too many layers because otherwise it's going to get way too thick and I don't like that. Like the feel of that, I'm not a fan. Like I did gel nails once and I was just like not a fan. It's just too thick. Like I want it to feel like a thin layer of nail polish and the color street nail strips are a base coat color and top coat all in one so you know they can end up feeling pretty thick if you layer them up too many layers uh, but texture wise as far as nail strips go the color street ones aren't as thick as some of the other brands that are out there so I really do like the texture of the color street strips so long as I don't lay like layer them up to like more than three layers anything past three is just too many all right so let's see how we're gonna do this properly so that I can have the plaid and I'm thinking I could use these strips these little strips because it looks like that's just about the right size for placing where I need it. So let's let's see if that's gonna work. And see, it's a little, I don't know if you can tell, but see how it's really, really sticking? So sometimes that happens where it gets really sticky if you've opened them up and then you've heat sealed them. Uh, they sometimes, it changes the texture of the strip and sometimes it could stick really well and sometimes it can stick not so well so we will see how this is gonna work but this is how I'm gonna place it down and then now if I'm gonna be honest that wasn't very straight but again only you as the owner of the Manny uh, is going to notice those really really big flaws uh, sometimes if you pose your hand right for a nail fee a nail selfie uh, no one can tell the flaws and nobody looks at your hands that closely anyways so I'm not going to be mad at it. I'm just going to, I'm going to run with it. And whatever happens, happens. It's going to be fine. So here we go. Place that down there. This is just my way of letting my creativity just run wild. Uh, I don't know what you all like to do as far as your creative outlet but for a bit of the moment uh, during the pandemic I got really into makeup again and so that was my creative outlet for a bit um, but now that things are going a little bit more back to normal and traffic sucks here <laughs> when I have to drive to and from oh when panda bear has to drive me to and from work uh, doing my makeup is sometimes not in the cards because I sometimes like to take a while if I want to use eyeshadow and do a look, put on false lashes, all that stuff. So most of the time I don't do my makeup anymore. Um, but Color Street's been great because the effort you put in to doing your nails... Um, you don't have to wipe it off after the day is over. I mean, you could if you wanted to do your mani every day. Uh, you certainly can. Uh, I certainly don't want to do it because it takes a little bit of time, as you guys can see. Um, I'm, I don't edit my videos, so they get pretty long. Uh, if you're following me through the whole journey of doing my nails. Uh, so... So yeah, once it's done, I like to leave it on at least 
a few days, if not a week. So the effort I put in, uh, it pays off for me because I get to enjoy my artwork uh, for a few days. And I get to take cute little pictures and share with the world uh, Color Street because, like I said, I am a super fan of Color Street. Uh, so thank you to my cousin Jennifer who introduced me to this and to Camille, the first Color Street stylist that I worked with, um, and Lisa and uh, Tara and Shannon and now my sister-in-law Carla, uh, Kayla, there's Kayla out there too. Gosh, I bought so from so many different stylists that I'm like, who else do I need to give a shout out to? Uh, I've purchased from so many different stylists. Like I like supporting the stylists uh, and I've enjoyed doing that. Tess, Tess, if you're watching this. Uh, but like now that my sister-in-law, Carla, has signed up to be a stylist, uh, I'm going to purchase mostly from her um, and support her. So, so yeah, but I'm really excited that Color Street is uh, coming out with makeup. So not a popular opinion uh, from most of the Color Street fans because uh, most of the Color Street fans are just into the nails. But for me, I'm excited to know that there's makeup available soon. So uh, shout out to Stacy Adams. Uh, if you haven't checked out her YouTube, I would recommend you check out her YouTube. She's a lot of fun, too, and her Facebook group. Um, but, like, she sent me uh, one of the limited edition Color Street lipsticks, and I am here for it. Like, this, this color is my jam. So it's called Noel, and look at that look at that it is beautiful uh now i own one of these already that i've used but now i have a backup so thank you stacy for gifting this to me because now i don't have to break my pocketbook to buy another one of this one i have enough that will last me at least a couple years and when january comes if the other two uh colors mary and holly are still available i will snatch those up as well but as i mentioned i have already reached my budget for the year as far as spending so i have to be good and wait till january but something exciting is coming in the mail uh any day now we're hoping we're hoping it's gonna be sooner rather than later but color street came out with mystery boxes mystery subscription boxes and the month of december the theme is roaring 20s now for those friends and family of mine who know me really well roaring 20s is like literally like the time period that i was obsessed with for a hot minute uh, I even had one birthday party one year where we had a Roaring Twenties theme. Um, I had gone to someone else's birthday party with a Roaring Twenties theme and I dressed up really, really awesome and hot. And Anyways, love the look of the flappers, the flapper dresses with the little uh, fringe on the dresses and the way, you know, flappers dance the way they do their makeup and their hair, all of that. Totally love that style. So very excited that the December subscription box is Roaring Twenties. So excited, in fact, that I subscribed not only with my normal uh, email, but my joint email with Panda Bear, I also subscribed. Uh, so I subscribed for a mystery box uh, through Shannon. And then when my sister-in-law uh, signed up under Shannon to be a Color Street stylist, I signed up for another subscription box under her as well. So I'm going to be getting two each month. 
I really don't need two each month. Um, what I think I might do, uh, I might, you know, obviously do a reveal of each mystery box here on this channel here um, and possibly in my Facebook group, Wendy's Nail Face Studio. Uh, and then maybe do like a giveaway in the Facebook group uh, because there are a lot of folks like my Facebook group is small and there are a lot of folks in that group that are just like friends and family and some of them have tried Color Street, some haven't, but it might be a great way to just do a giveaway and like gift it to one of my um, group members so they can also enjoy the subscription box and you know if they like it they can sign up under Carla and have a subscription box and maybe we can do as I mentioned in another video like a, a zoom party or something where we can do our manis together because that would be a lot of fun um, but yeah, this is usually when I'm doing my manicure or my pedicure, it's my me time. It's my time to just unwind, relax, and do my thing. And I used to do it where, you know, I wasn't talking to the world, but now that my sister-in-law is a Color Street stylist and I want to help support her, I figure, um, oh, why not give it a try? Follow in the footsteps of Tara, Stoddard, uh, Stacey Adams, um, Shannon, those that have their YouTube videos on doing their manis. I can do it too. So here we are. Okay, so almost that's one other layer, right? So time to get on the hot chocolate. So let's do that. And in fact, I should probably seal up these plaid about yous before they dry out. So let me figure out what I did with the wrapping here. Here we go. So actually, I think I'm gonna need these for the thumbs because the thumbs are kind of, well, actually, I could probably use one of these smaller ones for the thumbs and save this. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna save these. And it's likely that we'll be able to use just the one strip for the thumb. Oh, just in case, I'll leave out two strips for the thumb. Or do I force it? Actually, I need to find strips that are similar in size or else it's not going to end up looking right. Okay, I'm going to leave those two out. We're going to seal these so that I can use them again. Uh, these are a retired set, so I only have this pack left and then one more and then that's it. So I really hope that Color Street will come out with that set again because it's a really like awesome. They should keep it as a staple in their sets and not take it away. Um, but yeah, so we'll save those for later. And then we're going to do the hot chocolate part now. All right. When it comes to nails, are you guys into the mixed manis or are you guys more traditional and you like having like just the solid color or just like one color and maybe one accent nail? I honestly don't like it when it's just all one color. Uh, for me, I'm just like, I remember when I didn't used to do my own nails, I would almost never go to the salon. Uh, I've gone to the salon just for special occasions and usually I would have them do a French manicure, but I wouldn't have them do just a plain French manicure and that was that. I always had to have an accent nail and usually my ring finger was the accent nail and they would paint like a flower or some kind of like design. Uh, because if you're going to the salon, 
and they're just painting your nails one color. I'm just like, dude, like you're paying how much to get that polish painted on you and you could do that at home so easily. Like why? Like why? So that's why I usually would have, uh, if I went to the salon to get my nails done, I would get that one accent nail done. But then it got to a point where I was like, why am I, why am I paying someone else to do my nails? I could do my own nails. And so I ended up buying like a ton, ton of nail polish from Sally Beauty and other places. And I had like racks and racks of nail polish to the point where it looked like I owned a nail salon. <laughs> um, and so I would do my nails with the conventional polish, but it would like last maybe like two or three days before it chipped and I would get so like bored and I hated whenever there was a chip, I was like, I couldn't stand it. And so I had to remove it right away and basically start over. Uh, so, so yeah, like that, uh, that is why I really love Color Street. Uh, with Color Street, I don't have to wait for the nails to dry. Like there's no dry time that you have to worry about. Uh, you just place it on and then you can move about your day. Uh, and because there's not everyone's going to have this many nail strips. Uh, I'm just one of those weirdos that have like a whole stash, a whole collection <laughs> because I like to do mixed manis. And so, um, yeah, where was I going with this story? I don't know. Uh, and I apologize if I start talking about stuff and then I forget what I'm talking about. It's going to happen. And uh, no apologies there. You know what? Like, that's just who I am. And if you're here to watch me do my nails, it probably doesn't even matter what I'm talking about. You're probably just here to see how I'm doing my nails and the end result of this. Right? So I'll just continue. Uh, so I'm debating whether I cut this down I wish I had one of the really thin strips, but it looks like I must have used it for something else already. So I'm going to, I'm going to wing it and I'm going to cut it and just hope that it works out. I just need a tiny sliver, to be honest, um, for my hot chocolate part of the nail, the hot cocoa part. So let me just do that. Um... But yeah, and I might, now that I think about it, use the penny trick, but I don't want it to be on uh, the tip of the nail because the tip is going to be the marshmallows, but I feel like I left way too much room for the marshmallows. Uh, okay, that's fine. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stress over it. We're just going to go with it. It is what it is. This Manny might last maybe all of like enough for a photo and I might just change it out later. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I like it when I'm done because sometimes it looks like a hot mess when I'm working on it, but then at the end of the day, it ends up looking not so bad after all. So yeah, but this is my thought process here. You guys get to get a glimpse into the weirdo that Wendy from Cali is and come along on this journey here. So here we go. I think that one's going to look better. When you guys were growing up, were you taught to sing Christmas songs in elementary school? I remember distinctly second grade uh, being taught to sing Let It Snow. So that song, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, that song. And I was obsessed with 
finding the lyrics to that song when I was a bit older, probably like in junior high or something like that, when I was like remembering about it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you guys had that uh, growing up where you were taught to sing a song, but I had seen uh, my nephew taught a little, like, I don't know if it was a dance number, a performance. I should call it a performance. He was taught a performance, uh, and my sister uh, had filmed it and posted it in our private family Facebook group. And he's just, my nephew, Calvin, is just so adorable. Like, just, like, super duper adorable he's got the biggest personality uh and he really likes to dance yes ooh, he likes to dance um so yeah very excited to see how much he has grown uh we have a family vacation in april and then in the summer uh we have some babysitting duties to do uh, next year, which I'm super excited about because I don't get to see my nephew Calvin and my niece Lorelai very much. Uh, they live not in California. <laughs> um, they live in Utah. And so seeing them is a rare occasion. So I'm going to be super excited to be able to spend some quality time with them next summer. So yeah, anyways, uh, shoot. Okay. Can't seal those up yet because I just remembered I've got my thumbs that I got to still do. So got to make sure I remember that. I'm like, oh yay, chocolate's done. We can seal it up. No, no, no. Remember, thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is why this is why you shouldn't use your nails as tools. Have the right tools. If you weren't doing a mixed manicure with the color street strips, you really don't need any tools. You can slap those babies on in like five minutes. I've done it on a road trip before. Um, you know, some of the stylists that I used to buy from, they literally could do their manis in less than 10 minutes. It's like amazing. Uh, once you get used to how to do them, they're just so easy. But for me, because I like to be super extra, it takes a little bit of time and patience because I like to get super creative. And sometimes it's a hit or miss as far as my, creati my creativity goes. Uh, <laughs> sometimes they look pretty awesome. Like I did a ugly Christmas sweater, uh, kind of, uh, for the previous challenge and it ended up looking pretty cool and sparkly. Oh, geez. This one's not going to work. Okay. That's fine. It's going to be wasted. Sorry. Bye. Okay. Let's try again. Let us try again with another strip. And actually, can this fit this way? No, it's got to be this way. Okay. Always remember to take off the clear plastic before doing anything. Because if you don't, it's going to be very, very hard uh, to put that 